Uh, hello and a very good evening to everybody. Welcome to today's class. And uh, I'm Minakshi Upadhyay and today we'll be talking about uh, the different nuances of preparation for uh, VRC for CAT 22. We'll be taking up your questions also. So I, I hope you can hear me and uh, good evening and welcome to the session. So all of you who are there, uh, taking our time to be there in the session. Right. So there's a there's a question uh, icon next to you and you can type in that uh, whether you can um, uh, hear me or not clearly so that uh, I can start off with the, today's session. All right. Thank you, Prajwal. So, uh, yeah, so I got the answer. All right. So what you can do uh, in case you have to ask something, obviously you can um, uh, put your, uh, you know, uh, don't raise a hand, just put it in the chat box in the question log and uh, I'll try to answer. So first uh, I'll take uh, 10 minutes and just explain um, if you are a beginner, if you are, uh, you know, starting your preparation, what should you be doing? We'll be talking about that. And, um, and then after that you can, uh, you know, and I'll give you a plan of action, what has to be done. And then you can ask, uh, you know, if you are having particular problems in your preparation, we can discuss that also. Okay. So uh, um, most of you know the cat pattern, but let me talk about the cat pattern in short. So basically the cat pattern is that uh, <clears throat> the normal cat pattern that was coming was a three hour paper. Now this I'm talking about cat 17, 18, 19, right? Three hour paper, there were uh, 30, uh, 34 questions in VARC out of it, 24 were for comprehension and 10 questions used to be from verbal ability. This is the three hour original paper that was happening from CAT uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. But uh, uh, in CAT 20, what happened, uh, COVID happened, and then uh, the paper went on to be a two hour paper in which uh, 40 minutes were given to each section and uh, 18 questions came from comprehension and eight questions used to come, uh, came from verbal. This was CAT 20. And this year, meaning last year, CAT 21, the same format was there. The CAT was again a, <clears throat> a two hour paper, but they reduced the number of questions. Uh, from 26, they reduced the number of questions to 24 in VARC, out of which again, 18 questions were from comprehension and six were from your verbal ability. So this is the latest breakup. It can go back to a 26 question format for this year or remain with a 24 question format. But uh, uh, most probably since COVID is not going anywhere, I believe we can expect a two hour paper again. That is what is there. And uh, yeah, Neeraj, I'll come to those things. So just wait for 10 minutes. First, let me talk about what has to be done. Uske baad kuch bad jayega, to then you ask me. All right, right. So then I'll take questions from all of you. All right, so just 10 minutes of patience. So this is the pattern that we have. And CAT is moving very much like the GMAT pattern, especially for English, wherein the question types are pretty much set. You have comprehension, which is the most important question type. And then three verbal question types are coming, which are parajambles, summary of the paragraph. And uh, we have the odd man out, which we also call as the irrelevant statement question type. But having said that, uh, let's take the example of CAT 2015-16. This summary question had not been coming from the last 10, 15 years. In CAT uh, 1999 to 2003, we got summary questions. 2003 to 2014-15, summary did not come. And suddenly 2015-16, we saw that the summary questions came back. So now we have got only three questions that are coming in VA last five, six years. But you know, uh, they might get back the old question types, just like summary came back. And now summary is a very important question type. So summary, parajambal, and irrelevant. Irrelevant is a new question type that was introduced from CAT 2012-13. And it has remained. It has stayed. Parajambal has been coming from the last 20 years. It has never gone out of fashion. And reading comprehension also never goes out of fashion. So these two question types are definitely coming. Parajambals and reading comprehension. And summary and uh, irrelevant since we have seen last five, seven years. So yes, they might also stay. 
But having said that, the other question types like your critical reasoning or last sentence of the paragraph or fill in the blanks, I would you know advise you to be uh, preparing for those question types also. So let's take a look. Now this is CAT and the non-CAT exams like your ZAT, IFT, and MAT, SNAP, MyCAT, uh, which is for MICA, TISNET, which is for the Tata Institute of Social Sciences, that is in Mumbai and other places, Maharashtra CT for Maharashtra uh, um, specific exams, which has Jamnalal Bajaj and other good colleges. Irma, CMAT, and MAT are the lower level colleges uh, exams, but uh, these are the main exams that people give. Now, uh, the common topics that are there, reading comprehension is there in all of them. So reading comprehension is something that you have to prepare for. Reading comprehension comprises of sometimes, now CAT is, ZAT always gives short passages with one or two questions. CAT also sometimes gives short passages with two to three questions. But normally the CAT passage length is uh, 700 to 1000 words. That's the normal length. We have seen long passages, longer passages also up to 1200 words, 1500 words, but that was a little, uh, you know, some time ago, that is uh, eight to 10 years ago, but you never know. So you should be preparing for long and short passages both. That is my point of view. You know, the preparation should not be less uh, because uh, you have got uh, eight, nine months, 10 months to prepare. So it should not be just what is coming because see, there is no syllabus. We um, talk about the trends of the exam based on the past patterns. But as you know, the CAT gives surprises and it keeps changing also sometimes. So the question types also keep coming and going. So whatever has come, I mean, my uh, strategy for all my students is always that whatever has come in the last 20 years, at least once you should know about those question types, solve 50, 70 questions of all those question types, because even if it is not helping you in CAT, it is helping you in ZAT and IFT and other NMAT and SNAP and other exams that you're giving. And you should always give more the exams than one. CAT should not be the only exam that you give because you know, uh, you get nervous, something happens and you're not able to perform, then you know, your whole year's uh, hard work should not just be dependent on one day. So at least CAT and ZAT two papers, so definitely you should give. And SNAP and NMAT and all you can give for practice also. So, so when we are talking about at least two to four exams that you're giving, the syllabus becomes a little more, and this includes the question types that you, used to come earlier in CAT also. So reading comprehension obviously is still very, very important for all exams, including the CAT. 18 questions are still coming from comprehension. So comprehension to acha rakna hai. You have to improve your comprehension. Then we have these word level question types which used to come in the CAT earlier, like synonyms, similar words, antonyms, opposite words, odd man out is case mein, four words may one word is the odd man out, you know, then analogy, uh, cat is to kitten as dog, uh, you know, something like that. So uh, dog is to puppy and cat is to kitten. So similar, the relationships that are there, one word for the following idioms as in apple of the eye and things like that. And spelling, spellings comes in IFT. And uh, your synonyms, antonyms, and all come in all non-CAT exams. They used to come in the CAT also till around 2013, 14. They used to come very, very regularly. Then uh, you have got sentence level, which has fill in the blanks. This used to come till 2015 in CAT. In ZAT, fill in the blanks is very, very important. Still, IFT and other exams, it is still very important. Phrasal verbs, grammar exercises, sentence correction. Grammar is coming again in ZAT nowadays. We see fill in the right prepositions or, you know, two, three sentences you have to find. CAT is not giving sentence correction and grammar now, but earlier it used to come. In non-CATs, it's important. And then we come to paragraph level, which is important for CAT, and then all other exams. So see, if you're preparing the comprehension and paragraph level for CAT, you don't need to do anything extra for other exams. You just do the past papers. But the word level and the sentence level, you should be preparing for your ZAT, IFT, and other exams. So in the paragraph level, we have parajumbles, which is very important for CAT. We have irrelevant statement, which is again like the odd man out. Uh, it's like a parajumble only. One statement does not belong to the paragraph, and you have to find that. The summary of the paragraph. These three are definitely coming. 
apart from that paragraph completion which was last sentence this used to come till 2016 so it is still important and critical reasoning i have included because critical reasoning is important for your comprehension also support the argument of the author negate the argument of the author these kinds of questions still come in the cat whether in compre comprehension or in critical reasoning which comes as a separate you know question type in that so this is important so these at least five question types you should definitely prepare and uh, fill in the blanks right and the comprehension this is something that is must do and then for other exams the grammar and the word level so this is your <coughs> you know syllabus so as to say uh, because i have included question types that used to come earlier which will be important for uh, if not for cat then for other exams also so this is what has to be prepared and then uh, now how to uh, is my voice breaking hina is saying my voice is breaking i hope it's fine for everybody <coughs> yes sure nishant i can it's fine anuj all right great huh, okay. so yeah you can see the previous slides so these were the question types <coughs> <coughs> Okay, now how to start your preparation? That's what, uh, right, let's continue. So how to start your preparation? So your preparation has to be divided into two parts. Now, if you have seen the seven minute explainer that I put on YouTube, I have talked about that earlier also. Your ability and your question solving. So question solving, so you know what chapters you have to solve. I've just told you the chapters that you have to solve. This you can solve from my book or any other standard if you have any uh, institute study material that is also good i don't say that only use my book but my book has got everything so you don't need to buy anything if you have that if you don't have the book then uh, you know you can go with any institute standard study material and uh, as i told you so that was for question solving now comes your ability improvement so your preparation has to be two types your ability improvement first and then your question solving ability improvement will include two things mostly one is your vocabulary and the other is your reading so why is vocabulary important is because you know in the exam you get difficult words in the paper in the comprehension you get difficult words in your parajumble in your summary and when you read it there are blanks in your mind if you don't know the words and what they mean and if a question comes from that paragraph in which the words you did not know then you'll be doing guesswork so that becomes very very uh, fatal for you and uh, like last year, this year's paper they asked why has this phrase been used in what context has the author used this word they're not asking you for the meaning of the word but they are asking you in reference to the passage why this has been used a uh, meaning in ipata if you don't know the meaning of the word then it becomes a big problem so therefore it's important that <clears throat> you know you know the basic vocabulary vasabi if you're studying any language without knowing the words it becomes very difficult to understand and to you know uh, solve any question type so that's why vocabulary becomes important if you have my book uh, the root words are important for the non cats and root words are a very good way to increase your vocabulary immediately together with the root words you should do the high and medium frequency words which are the must know words you can say must know because they keep coming in your normal reading a pehla word hai high frequency ka abandon so you know that the word abandon means to give up abandon is a very common word if you don't know what it means then you know your preparation is not up to the mark it's not up to cat level i'm just talking about one word here so similarly those are must know words so what your strategy should be jitne words you know unko aapne tick kar liya ki bhai these words to i know because it's a pen and paper book so you can tick and uh, <clears throat> then um, the remaining words 10 15 words daily ka target rehna chahiye that you are doing and at least one week every word you should revise otherwise you forget those words and then every 10 days take a gap of two days and jitne purane words hai usko fir se just try to revise and go on so first three months thoda sa vocab pe dhyan dena together with vocabulary uh, your so high and medium low frequency words are the difficult words which come as options in the zat in the ift and other exams so if you are preparing for other exams to so low frequency and then there is a chapter 
which is called as words often confused which uh, you know talks about similar words like advice with a ce and advice with a se similar sounding words so those are important for <coughs> word level question types if you are preparing for the non cats then you should be doing the high medium low frequency words together with the root words and the words often confused these five chapters should be done by all of you and you should after you finish uh, a little bit of vocabulary start solving your synonyms antonyms odd man out and fill in the blanks question type so this should be your word level preparation all right which you can start immediately from today from tomorrow and the solving of synonym antonym fill in the blanks also you can start off after 10 15 days of doing vocabulary once you are a little comfortable and make sure that you know when you see the options you check the meanings of all the words and you start writing them also because why i am saying that is uh, if you do one question in fill in the blanks or one question in synonyms and you got four <laughs> options so if with one question you can actually revise five words one question word and four option words and if you do 10 questions of synonyms antonyms into five so you are revising 50 words by 10 doing 10 questions so ek to you are learning the vocabulary second you are doing your solving of the word level so automatically wo check hota ja raha hai and uh, <clears throat> you know you are learning new words also and when you do your second revision your words ka meanings are written down so it becomes much easier for you to revise and to understand so that is how you should start your vocabulary work and your solving of vocabulary work and side by side at least four to five readings every day you should be doing now what should you be reading you should be reading the cat level things so cat level things i'll show you the kind of topics that come in the cat uh, you know they can be from right from uh, <clears throat> philosophy psychology science genetics biology science and technology art culture literature you get poem also sometimes that gives you a poem every year now and politics and sociology civilization history uh, economics and biography biography means the life of people and their story etc sometimes those also come so these are the normal topics that we see in the cat uh, the passages are from taken from these topics and the sources are <clears throat> these so your sources will be uh, places like uh, you know the new york times the economist magazine uh, the eon aeon then you have the guardian guardian newspaper which is uh, free again so guardian.co.uk we see all the time the economist and the guardian are the favorites together with eon spectator scientific american you get all the science passages and uh, washington post the uh, la times new york times los angeles times for science etc you can uh, be talking about uh, uh, blogs.nature.com sociology.org for social sciences historytoday.com for history and uh, from the economist and from the guardian etc read about the environment ecology business technology uh, the lifestyle of people the art and culture and politics etc these you can do from the newspapers like the uh, the new york times the guardian the economist magazine etc so this is this these are the places together with it the eon is there for your uh, this one a e o n eon is there for your philosophy for philosophy there's another uh, website called arts and letters daily you can go to that also so five readings from these places and you have the cat so you have the cat passages you can just google and see from where they are coming and do from the new sources also that might have been happen so read the sources from the cat why because uh, uh, you know uh, abhi zat mein there was a economist ka two months pehle ka passage ka parajambal aaya tha this year in the econom uh, this year in the zat paper so you know you can actually get passages from there also also even if you don't get at least you are reading cat level because i see a lot of teachers saying ki just read the hindu now see if you are preparing for upsc then hindu is good enough if you are preparing for cat hindu is one level less than the cat so hindu say you can start but you have to go to these sources for your reading okay that's very very important so these are the places from uh, <clears throat> where you can 
start off not the economic times newspaper chirag we are talking about the economist magazine okay and uh, <clears throat> so uh, you can just take a screenshot aniket all right and uh, i'll i'll show you the topic list uh, no problem sambhav so so then um, what do you so this is your topic list and uh, <coughs> so uh, what do you do in your reading so there are two things which are very very important one is try to find the main idea and the other is try to find why the author is writing this what is the style of writing you know so is he writing just to uh, inform you is he writing to uh, talk about uh, you know uh, say make you laugh for entertainment or uh, just uh, to give you information or to try to prove something if he is trying to prove something that this is good or this is bad this is right this is wrong then the style of writing obviously becomes uh, argumentative if he is trying to analyze a issue just like it is there in the editorials uh, talking about the pros positives and the negatives about an issue then the style of writing is analytical so you know uh, trying to know the style of writing and the main idea what the focus is on so once you start asking questions like what is the passage talking about why is it written what is the focus of the passage what is the purpose of the passage immediately your main idea will start coming clearly to your mind and these so what is the topic what is the main idea and why has the passage uh, been written what is the style of writing these are some of the questions i need you to start uh, asking when you do your daily reading usse kya hoga na the control uh, that you have on the passages will be much more and um, when you are reading try to uh, get the idea of each paragraph also because paragraph change hota hai to ideas also keep changing and ek overall idea hoga so in eon kind of passages is a very very long passages in uh, the i have got two uh, channels one is the arun sharma mind works channel in which i um, you know freely give you inputs and the other is the verbal teacup wo bahut active channel nahi hai lekin usme i do a lot of reading whenever i get time idhar teen mahine se i was busy in cat so i was not doing it but usme purane readings hain from the eon if you people have problems in reading to verbal teacup ko bhi subscribe kar sakte you can follow it and i'll again restart the work there and arun sharma mind works so follow karte hi ho usme bhi i do a lot of readings so just see how i do it it will be easier for you you know you break down uh, su substitute your difficult words with easier words and just just try to read at least two three paragraphs uske baad whatever words you don't understand check out their meanings and if need be you read it again because sometimes uh, what you had understood in your reading and the words that you did not know their meaning was totally different from what you had thought about so once you check the meaning then you realize ki, okay this was totally different so then reread it again with the correct meaning to pura passage pura karne ke you don't need to complete the whole 2000 words or 3000 words lambe lambe hote hain articles you do at least 800 000 words ek hi article ko aap teen articles ke tarah divide kar sakte hain and you can read it in three parts or at least 10 15 lines se pehle shuru karo and slowly slowly every week start increasing agar bahut difficult lag raha hai if you finding it very difficult so start with the hindu and go to the cat level pehle hindu wale level se comfortable ho jao then go to the cat level but cat level par you'll have to go because that is where the questions the passages are coming from aur uski habit agar nahi hai so then you will not be able to solve comprehension isliye solving comprehension you should do after one month of reading so once you are comfortable with your uh, reading etc one month aapne kiya and reading to 6 months tak continue karegi chhodna nahi hai you can't leave it but once you are comfortable with at least one month of cat level reading then you start slowly solving comprehension if you have my book you can start with that if you are a retaker you have already finished my book to abhi chhod do kuch din usko gmat guide se aap kar sakte ho gmat club and all are good sources gmat passages se bhi you can do your uh, comprehension solving but solving tabhi you start your solving once you are comfortable at least 80% aapko jo reading if you understand then only start your solving otherwise sab kuch galat ho jayega half right half wrong ho jayega so the normal problem that you have is half the things go wrong 
बिकॉज पीपल फील की जब हम कॉम्प्रीहेंशन सॉल्व करेंगे देन ओनली आई डू माई रीडिंग एंड दैट इज अ रॉन्ग स्ट्रैटेजी यू नो यू हैव टू डू द बैकग्राउंड वर्क फर्स्ट जैसे कि हम सिर्फ रीडिंग करेंगे सभी वो कैब भी पढ़ लेंगे दैट डज नॉट हैपन सिमिलरली योर रीडिंग एंड योर वो कैब वर्क फर्स्ट वन मंथ थोड़ा सा फोकस करके एंड देन स्टार्ट योर सॉल्विंग एंड वेन यू आर डूइंग एंड देन एक मंथ यू डू योर रीडिंग देन नेक्स्ट मंथ से वेन यू स्टार्ट योर रीडिंग यू स्टार्ट पैराग्राफ वाइज पैराजम्बल एंड ऑल भी स्टार्ट करो सॉल्विंग एंड टूगेदर विद इट रीडिंग में भी start seeing the linking between sentences <coughs> how one sentence is linked to the other that really helps you to solve your parajambles also so that will help you and uh, parajambal then har paragraph ka start uh, making a summary main idea kya hai summary banana shuru karo that will help you in your summary question if one sentence is taken away from the paragraph will i be able to recognize that your odd man out you know questions like that ye sab in your reading you can start your preparation for all of that and that is the best way to go about it and once you start doing that then when you are actually solving you will be very comfortable that i can promise but wo one month of hard work you have to do and then continue re your reading till at least september so five readings have to continue together with the analysis the summary analysis the jumble analysis and the odd man wo sath mein chalega fir and then you can start your solving uh, after a month uh, two passages daily roz you don't have to do you know 20 passages in a week 10 passages 8 to 10 passages in a week is good five days of solving three days of verbal solving five days of rc solving reading and vocabulary has to be done daily that should be your target all right <coughs> so uh, right so my book name jasmine uh, jasmine is uh, verbal ability and reading comprehension for cat and uh, that's <laughs> the, the ninth edition is the latest so you can pick up that book and that that has got everything so all the question types also all the words also just the reading you have to do from the sources and uh, so uh, exactly bipin so because you have not been analyzing your reading hai na so your eyes are doing the reading but your mind has not processed the reading so then you need to do a little bit of cat level reading more i'll come to inference and conclusion definitely so uh, and uh, yes uh, rahul that's what so uh, no i have not gone through the manhattan gmat strategy as such i have been teaching this from the last 25 years now rahul so uh, I really don't know what they talk about in the strategy, but yes, you can use the GMAT passages, uh, and uh, you can do that. Okay, so and uh, so that's the reading. So, you have to read novels. Necessary, not here, because see, novels. May the problem what happens in novels is that uh, once you pick up a novel and you are not able to complete that novel, you don't start another one. Because you feel कि मेरी पहली नॉवल तो कम्प्लीट हुई ही नहीं है आई हैव नॉट कम्प्लीटेड माई फर्स्ट नॉवल एंड दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम सो इफ यू कैन कंसिस्टेंटली कीप ऑन सो देर इज नो रूल कि आपको नॉवल फिनिश करनी है यू कैन स्टार्ट रीडिंग थ्री नॉवल्स एट द सेम टाइम तो नॉवल्स पढ़ना जरूरी नहीं है उसको खत्म करना भी जरूरी नहीं है बट अगर आप इफ यू लाइक टू रीड नॉवल्स डेफिनेटली स्टार्ट रीडिंग एंड बट ये जो हमने सोर्सेज बताए हैं don't neglect that because uh, ye sources uh, are the places from where cat is giving you actual passages or novels mein kya hoga ki kabhi kabhi kisi novel se aapka lad jayega but then economist se guardian se eon se to aa hi raha hai passage so why should you not read it that is my question hai na kyun nahi aapko jab pata hai ki idhar se aata hai to aap kyun nahi padhoge isko it's foolish if you don't read it hai na So, और साथ में आपको एड ऑन करने के लिए नॉवेल्स ऐड करना है तो कर लो लेकिन ये मत करना कि वो खत्म नहीं हुई है तो मेरे को दूसरा नहीं शो स्टार्ट करो चार पांच पढ़ लो एक साथ पूरा मत करो फिफ्टी हंड्रेड पेजेस भी आपने नॉवेल का पढ़ लिया तो राइटिंग स्टाइल तो आप समझ ही रहे हो इफ यू आर कंफर्टेबल विद वॉट द ऑथर इज सेंग द आइडियाज देन दैट्स मोर देन इनफ सो आई यू नो माई स्ट्रेटेजी इज अ लिटल डिफरेंट देन अदर टीचर्स आई वुड नॉट से वो खत्म ही करना है आपको नो यू डोंट नीड टू फिनिश इट बट रीड एज मच सो फाइव रीडिंग हम क्यों कर रहे हैं 
अगर इफ यू डू इट फॉर हंड्रेड डेज फाइव रीडिंग्स डेली यू एक्सपोज योर सेल्फ टू फाइव हंड्रेड न्यू टॉपिक्स न्यू आइडियाज इफ यू डू इट फॉर टू हंड्रेड डेज विच यू हैव यू एक्सपोज योर सेल्फ टू थाउजेंड न्यू आइडियाज न्यू टॉपिक्स न्यू स्टाइल्स ऑफ राइटिंग बाई जस्ट रीडिंग वन पेज फ्रॉम दैट आर्टिकल यू एक्सपोजिंग टू हंड्रेड डेज ऑफ रीडिंग इज एक्सपोजिंग योर सेल्फ टू थाउजेंड न्यू आइडियाज एंड न्यू टॉपिक्स कैट कहीं ना कहीं तो टच करेगा ही ना उसको यू नो सम टॉपिक एटलीस्ट कुछ फेमिलियर तो आएगा मे बी नॉट द सेम बट समथिंग कुछ टॉपिक से रिलेटेड तो आ जाएगा सो देर फोर इट बिकम्स मच इजियर वेन यू आर एक्चुअली गिविंग द एग्जाम दैट इज द पर्पज ऑफ माई सेंग टू रीड फ्रॉम डाइवर्स सोर्सेज एक ही सोर्स से रीड करना इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज देन यू आर जस्ट यू नो डूइंग इट फ्रॉम वन प्लेस एंड द कैट गिव फ्रॉम वेरियस प्लेसेज from various topics so therefore that reading work is the main thing for the cat baki aap solving ek month baad shuru karoge koi issue nahi hai na in fact you should start it after a month of reading not before that and uh, reading has to continue for 6 to 8 months and you will see that verbal will become very very strong verbal and comprehension will be a strongest section but wo hard work dalna padega thoda theek hai so that is what has to be done and uh, so dipanchu have already talked about uh, the strategy inside the exam uh, we have got a lot of time for that so okay so prajwal is saying ki i was able to attempt only three passages out of which i understood only two passages and this reduced my uh, exactly so uh, see the reading speed prajwal will increase only when you are comfortable so that's why i'm saying ki do the dirty job of the reading work right now because uh, if you're comfortable with different topics you're reading like abhi abhi covid se related koi bhi topic kahin se bhi aa jaye to hum log sab ki reading speed will be pretty good because we are comfortable with the topic we have heard so much about it we have even read so much about it we have seen so much uh, about it so uh, we know बट अब वही अगर स्पेनिश फ्लू या प्लेग के बारे में आ जाएगा और उसके टेक्निकलिटीज आ जाएगा सो वी डोंट नो सो मच अबाउट इट तो ऑटोमेटिकली रीडिंग स्पीड विल बी हाफ और एटलीस्ट सेवेंटी थर्टी परसेंट डाउन तो हो ही जाएगी सो द आइडिया टू रीड डाइवर्सली इज टू इंक्रीज योर रीडिंग स्पीड बाई बिकमिंग कम्फर्टेबल है ना और वो जो ट्रिक्स होता है कि आप आई स्पैन बढ़ाओ और ये करो और वो करो वो सब ट्रिक्स आप तभी यूज कर सकते हो वेन यू आर कम्फर्टेबल विद द टॉपिक so i know of all those tricks of reading also but i don't tell you that right away because usse abhi koi fayda nahi hoga hai na ki ek sath pura try karo ki ek sentence pura ek sath pad lo magnify karke and uh, you know uh, articles prepositions ko mat padho just keywords utha ke read karo all those are tricks of reading but wo tabhi fayda karega you know when you are comfortable with the topic तो टॉपिक के लिए कंफर्टेबल होने के लिए बेसिक रीडिंग वाला काम तो करना ही पड़ेगा उससे ऑटोमेटिकली स्पीड बढ़ जाएगी आपकी सो यू रियली डोंट नीड टू गो इनटू एनी ऑफ दोज ट्रिक्स पर से ऑल राइट एंड राइट सो आई एम गेटिंग लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो लेट मी टेक इट वन बाय वन अभिषेक ओल्ड एडिशन अगर एर्थ है तो ठीक है उससे ओल्डर नहीं चलेगा बिकॉज क्वेश्चन टाइप्स ही बदल गए ना तो यू विल नॉट फाइंड द पी डी एफ आर ऑल ऑफ ओल्ड एडिशन पियूश ओके सो अलीना इज टॉकिंग अबाउट वो कैब शुरू कर दियो हाँ ठीक है यस अलीना एंड स्टार्ट में हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी भी शुरू कर दो यू विल गेट अ लॉट ऑफ वर्ड्स विच आर सिमिलर एंड रीडिंग भी करते रहो साथ में और राइट so uh, abhishek you'll have to start the reading ha huh? okay avani is asking an important uh, question how to focus while reading so uh, give yourself first uh, just 10 minutes ki 10 minutes mein jitna hoga hum utna hi read karenge and those 10 minutes don't think about anything and just keep interacting with the passage you know when i talk about interacting start talking with the passage when you talk with the passage uh, <coughs> it becomes actually uh, very much easier to uh, so how do you talk with the passage you start uh, asking questions ki what is being talked why is this uh, uh, you know what exactly is being said here so i'll, I'll do one thing uh, say i'll i'll share um, i mean my readings so i have done so many with all of you already 
so even if you just go through my readings in the mindworks channel you will see how i do the reading and you can just you know follow that that will really really help you if you can if you really want uh, uh, you know inputs so then um, that will help you to concentrate so start talking to the passage and uh, just give me a moment i'll show you how you start talking to the passage that really makes it uh, much easier so say if we say take the guardian dot co dot uk okay so all right so let me uh, just open the guardian for you this is a free resource so you can just read anything from the guardian and uh, you know so what do you start so let's say if we uh, okay pick up any uh, topic right and uh, <coughs> just just uh, we could pick up anything from the opinion so if we say say if we take the prospect of johnson's downfall all right now this is obviously talking about uh, boris johnson hai na so it says uh, for proof of how dangerous boris johnson's leadership has become consider this so immediately what are we talking about how dangerous boris johnson's leadership has become who is boris johnson now so we know that okay he is the he is there in the uk he is the prime minister and how, what are we talking about how his leadership is becoming dangerous and see after the colon the explanation is given public health policy is merely a subplot in the horrendous drama subplot means it is not the main thing public health policy ke alawa something is happening in the horrendous horrendous drama ab you don't know the meaning of the word horrendous बट इस केस में हम लोग को मालूम है कि नेगेटिव बात हो रही है तो हॉरेंडस कुछ नेगेटिव ही होगा हॉरेंडस मींस हॉरिबल हॉरिबल और हॉरिफाइंग स्केरी सो स्केरी ड्रामा एनगल्फिंग द कंजर्वेटिव पार्टी अब कंजर्वेटिव पार्टी इज ऑब्वियसली द द द पार्टी व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू द पर्सन है ना बीइंग टॉक्ड अबाउट सो देयर इज सो हेल्थ पॉलिसी से रिलेटेड कुछ गड़बड़ हो रही है ओवर द वीकेंड एज गवर्नमेंट एडवाइजर्स अर्जड caution over covid restrictions the prime minister's allies allies means his supporters suggested that the imminent lifting of england's remaining curb would launch his fight back so here they are saying that uh, government advisers were saying that covid restrictions should be there the prime minister supporters were saying ki jitna remaining curbs hai england par means jitna restrictions hai usko hata dijiye because that would launch his fight back but an unnamed minister cited in the spectator he thought that winning the last rules could nearly neatly coincide with the prime minister's resignations this it was said would give him an opportunity to claim a huge job had been done and depart with dignity so here we are saying that it is actually giving him a way to go out of politics to go out of uh, because he has done a bad job but uh, most of what we hear so what are we trying to do i am just trying to show you how to read here basically i was trying to just engage with the topic engage with the topic start asking questions reflect what is happening to thoda kam hi padho read 15 20 lines only in 10 minutes but try to understand it fully then you've actually analyzed and got the full comprehension that is how your reading has to be okay so uh okay so that is uh, and uh, yeah sahil you can do it with the free videos it's just that uh, ki you'll have to uh, do the work to abhi jo kaam bataye hain last 25 30 minutes mein just do that work to improvement hoga and once you're comfortable with your reading etc then you start your level 1 solving two passages daily start analyzing it and level 1 then go to level 2 and then the cat papers so cat papers you should do after two months of uh, normal solving because abhi se cat papers se shuru nahi karna for those who are retakers for those who have already given the cat and have done lod 1 and 2 and all that so you can start with your gmat 
पैसेजेस एंड जी मैट पैसेजेस के साथ साथ यू कैन डू दैट पैसेजेस यू कैन डू द आई एफ टी पैसेजेस एंड दैट पैसेजेस सो दैट विल गिव यू इनफ मटीरियल टू सॉल्व एंड द कंफ्यूजन बिटवीन टू ऑप्शन पीपल आर आस्किंग मी सी वेन दर्ज अ कंफ्यूजन बिटवीन टू ऑप्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड रीड द क्वेश्चन अगेन so when you do your comprehension solving it's very very important that you read the question properly and see what the question is expecting from you if it's a general question general question ka kya hoga ki answer will be from all over the passage so what is the idea of the passage what is the message of the passage what is the crux of the passage what is the principal information in the passage what is the author trying to convey in the passage is tarah ke jo questions and they are all they are all मेन आइडिया क्वेश्चन दे आर ऑल जनरल क्वेश्चन तो इसके लिए पूरा पैसेज पढ़ के आइडिया निकालनी पड़ेगी एक लाइन से यू कैन नॉट टेक आउट द मेन आइडिया और उसी तरह से एक लाइन अगर पैसेज का कहीं कोटेड है इन द ऑप्शन सो दैट विल नॉट बी द राइट आंसर सो स्पेसिफिक आंसर फॉर अ जनरल क्वेश्चन इज रॉन्ग ठीक है तो पहले तो आपको क्वेश्चन को आइडेंटिफाई करना पड़ेगा कि ये जनरल सवाल था जो कि पूरे पैसेज से इट हैज बीन आस्ट और इट हैज बीन आस्ट फ्रॉम पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट अगर पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट से पूछा है कि पैराग्राफ टू में ऑथर का आर्ग्यूमेंट क्या है है ना सो देन यू ओनली गो टू पैराग्राफ टू एंड यू आंसर व्हाट वाज़ द ऑथर्स आर्ग्यूमेंट या फिर कौन सा पॉइंट सपोर्ट करेगा ऑथर के आर्ग्यूमेंट को विच पॉइंट इज सपोर्टिंग द आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ दी ऑथर गो टू पैराग्राफ टू एंड फाइंड द आर्ग्यूमेंट एंड देन सी की किस चीज से सपोर्ट होगा ओके okay? उस केस में एक जो जनरल आंसर है विच इज इन जनरल टॉकिंग अबाउट the author's argument of the passage that will be the wrong answer so specific agar ek point se question hai to you go to that point and try to find the answer create a mental answer and then match it with the options galti kya hoti hai ki aap option pehle dekh lete ho aur option mein se choose karne lagte ho passage mein jaake aap option ko khojte ho dekho passage to likha hai guardian wale ne hai na aur option banaya hai aapke cat ke question wale ne तो वो सेम सेम ऑप्शन आपको पैसेज में कैसे मिलेगा अनलेस कि वो पूरा पूरा सेम वर्ड यूज किया जो कि कैट में होगा नहीं तो देन व्हाट डू यू हैव टू सो यू नेवर फाइंड योर आंसर यू नेवर फाइंड द ऑप्शन इन द पैसेज तो वो काम मत करना शुरू करो कि पैसेज को वो ऑप्शन को खोजते हैं पैसेज में नाइनटी लोग तो वही काम करते हैं वो कहा वो मिलेगा ही नहीं आपको बिकॉज पैसेज तो किसी और ने लिखा था और ऑप्शन किसी और ने बनाया सवाल किसी और ने बनाया so then what do you do you read the question you go back to the passage ki kis point se pucha gaya hai and you make a mental answer ki is question ko satisfy karne ke liye kis tarah ka answer hum khoj rahe hai na supporting rahega to positive towards the argument negating rahega to negative towards the argument and then aap apne option mein choose karo ki bhai wo jo general option hai wo galat ho jayega because this is a specific question जो नेगेटिव ऑप्शन है वो गलत हो जाएगा बिकॉज हमको सपोर्ट करना है आर्ग्यूमेंट को है ना तो एलिमिनेट करना शुरू करो देन यू फाइंड योर राइट आंसर कि हम इस तरह का ऑप्शन सोच रहे थे नाउ मेरे ऑप्शन से कौन सा ऑप्शन मैच करता है विच हैज सिमिलर पॉइंट्स लाइक आई वाज लुकिंग एट एंड उसमें कहीं अगर बाहर का इन्फॉर्मेशन है तो दैट विल ऑल्सो बी रॉन्ग उसमें अगर इन्फॉर्मेशन हैज बीन चेंज है ना तो दैट विल ऑल्सो बी रॉन्ग तो उस तरह से देन यू स्टार्ट योर एलिमिनेशन and you find the right answer thoda sa long process hai this is a longer process than option dekhe aur aap chale gaye aur mark kar diya but this is a correct process accuracy bad jayegi aapki and when you uh, start doing it daily to ye bahut easy the be a fast process ho jayega like for me now it it has become very natural because hum to isi process se solve karte hain for my students also those who follow it it becomes natural it takes a month ek mahina lagta hai to you know inculcate this process aur agar aapko fayda nahi ho raha hai is process so you can always go back to the process that you were using koi uh, zabardasti to hai nahi there is no compulsion ki aap isi ko process ko follow karo but if you do this process i can promise you ki within a month you will see a lot of improvement in your comprehension ab jo aap baat aati hai inferential aur us tarah ke questions ki so inference question ka direct answer agar passage se diya hua hai to that will always be a wrong answer inference is when you think of one step forward all right so like what did you conclude about the class hai na class ke liye aap soch ke aaye the kuch 
वो अजम्पन था क्लास के बाद आपका क्या रिएक्शन है वो आपका इन्फ्लुंस या कंक्लूजन है सो वेदर इट वॉज अ गुड सेशन और नॉट सो गुड सेशन और एन ओके सेशन यू नो मैम कवर्ड ऑल द पॉइंट और शी डिड नॉट कवर दीज आर ऑल योर कंक्लूजन सो सिमिलरली इन अ कॉम्प्रीहेंशन ऑल्सो वॉट यू कंक्लूड फ्रॉम दिस लाइन हैज टू बी वन स्टेप फॉरवर्ड टू वॉट इज रिटर्न तो वो डायरेक्टली नहीं मैंशन रहेगा उसका क्लू रहेगा ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट यू हैव टू डिसाइड अभी देखो जैसे ये वाला जो पैसे अभी हम लोग जो रीड कर रहे थे अभी आपके साथ प्रूफ ऑफ हाउ डेंजरस बोरिस जॉनसन लीडरशिप एंड ये वाला दिस हैज दिस सेड वुड गिव हिम एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू क्लेम अज जॉब डन एंड डिपार्ट विद डिग्निटी अब यहाँ डिपार्ट विद डिग्निटी रेफर्स टू वॉट या इनफर्स वॉट कैन यू कंक्लूड अबाउट दिस स्टेटमेंट Depart with dignity. So conclude यहाँ क्या कर रहे हैं कि he can resign from his office respectfully. This is what we are concluding. अब आप जाके option में choose करो resign from his office respectfully. ठीक है और जो option closest रहेगा that will be your answer. So that is how you uh, find your inferences and your conclusions. Okay? That's how you go about it. So critical reasoning is really important, is Sian, because अभी हम बता रहे थे ना strengthen the argument and weaken the argument of the author. These are particularly critical reasoning questions. So if you practice a little bit of critical reasoning from GMAT and all, that helps you solve comprehension better. And uh, ZAT में तो direct critical reasoning questions आते ही हैं. So उसके लिए भी important है. All right. so that's how you have to blow so uh, and uh, to uh, must uh, kanishk uh, at least uh, see uh, when you are appearing in the paper so you had to solve it out of 24 questions that came this year you had to attempt at least 15 to 17 questions hai na abhi 15 question agar nahi attempt with a high accuracy if you are good in uh, english 17 18 questions you could have attempted easily with the two three incorrects that should have been your strategy if you were not so good in english you are average so then you attempt at least 12 14 questions with 10 12 corrects if you are not good at all in english if you feel you are not average then you just pick up 8 10 good questions jo aap sure hain ki ye mera right hoga aur utna hi attempt karna hai but if you feel you are good in english then you can attempt up to 18 19 with a 90% accuracy 85 90% accuracy that should be your plan of action so wo 18 questions ko attempt karne ke liye at least three comprehensions to aapko karna hi padega hai na so depending on what your level is aapka attempt us hisab se hoga but abhi we will not talk about attempts abhi we will talk about how to improve your comprehension how to improve your ability so that when you go into the exam you are not worrying about that hai na and you solve accurately so uh, i think swagat we will upload this recording in the youtube most probably all right so uh, so avni is asking a relevant question should we go to the questions first or the passage if it's a long passage it's a good idea to read the question first लेकिन अभी आजकल जो पैसेजेस दिख रहे हैं दे आर शॉर्ट पैसेजेस विद थ्री टू फाइव क्वेश्चंस तो बहुत फायदा नहीं होगा क्वेश्चन पढ़ के बट इफ इट्स अ लॉन्ग पैसेज विद ओनली थ्री क्वेश्चंस देन इट्स ऑलवेज अ गुड आइडिया टू रीड द रीड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट नॉट द ऑप्शन जस्ट द क्वेश्चन एंड देन रीड द पैसेज सो दैट की पैसेज में जो एक्स्ट्रा इन्फॉर्मेशन है उसको जल्दी जल्दी पढ़ सकते हो एंड देन यू कैन गो टू द रेलिवेंट पार्ट फ्रॉम वेयर द क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ड सो दैट गिवस यू अ लिटिल यू नो इम्प्रूवमेंट इन योर सॉल्विंग टाइम थोड़ा ही सा इम्प्रूवमेंट होता है बट इफ यू प्रैक्टिस वेल उससे फायदा हो जाता है ओके सो एंड हर्षा नोटिंग डाउन वो कैब इन द नोटबुक सी पहले तो आप लिस्ट से पढ़ रहे हो और उसके बाद जो आपको डिफिकल्ट वर्ड्स लग रहा है उसको नोट डाउन करके लिख लो जब टाइम मिले तो जस्ट सर्च फॉर द मीनिंग्स ऑफ दोज वर्ड्स और उसका सोर्स लिख लेना कि गार्डियन का ये आर्टिकल से ये मैंने देखा है सो दैट व्हेन यू सी द मीनिंग उसके बाद उसको फिर से आप पढ़ोगे तो यू विल गेट एन आइडिया 
क्योंकि ये किस तरह से हाउ दिस हैज बीन यूज एंड वॉट वॉज द एक्चुअल कॉन्टेक्सट सो वोकेबलरी इम्प्रूव एंड कॉम्प्रीहेंशन ऑल्सो इम्प्रूव दो बोथ द इम्प्रूवमेंट विल हैपन बोथ वेज and kanishk is uh, all right so kanishk was asking about how many should be attempt so i talked about that so two two rcs minimum should be attempted by everybody if uh, you are at a medium level if you are at a high level of uh, comprehension you are comfortable three comprehensions at least and uh, if you are not very comfortable with comprehension uh, you are okay with verbal then one comprehension and two three questions of verbal eight to 10 questions so that's how you will mix and match but uh, as of as i told you don't talk think about the attempts as of now you should be thinking more about your preparation so start with that and khushi uh, time to sabko alag lagega hai na so khushi is asking how much time should we take per day for uh, preparation mere ko padhne mein wahi article 10 minute lagega aapko ho sakta hai 20 minute lage So if I say सिर्फ आधा घंटा पढ़ो तो मेरा तो हाफ एन आवर में सिक्स आर्टिकल हो जाएगा दस दस मिनट में लेकिन आपका तो तीन ही होगा तो आप हाफ एन आवर बाद बुक को बंद कर दोगे और बोलोगे की मैम ने तो बोला था कि तीन ही पढ़ आधा ही घंटा पढ़ना है तो आई एम गिविंग यू द वर्क है ना सबका अलग टाइम लगेगा सो आई गिव यू द वर्क फोर टू फाइव आर्टिकल्स अब उसमें आपको हाफ एन आवर लग रहा है कि वन आवर लग रहा है उतना टाइम देना पड़ेगा आपको ओके बट एटलीस्ट मिनिमम वन आवर ऑफ रीडिंग तो लगेगा ही लगेगा ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स लगेगा पर आर्टिकल इफ यू आर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट्स इफ यू आर रीडिंग द होल थिंग एंड विद वोकेबलरी और टेन टेन मिनट्स वोकैब के लिए अलग से दे दो थ्री टाइम्स अ डे एक बार सुबह शाम आज की वो कैब किए और टेन मिनट्स दे दो पुराने वाला रिवाइज करने के लिए सो टेन टेन मिनट्स का थ्री फोर स्लॉट्स फॉर वोकेबलरी एंड हाफ हाफ आवर का टू थ्री स्लॉट्स दे दो रीडिंग का चार आर्टिकल्स एक साथ पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं है टू टू आर्टिकल्स या वन वन आर्टिकल भी आप पढ़ सकते हो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी मिनट्स का फोर स्लॉट्स दे दो रीडिंग के लिए और टेन टेन मिनट्स का थ्री स्लॉट्स दे दो वो कैबलरी के लिए और जब आप सॉल्विंग शुरू करोगे तो टू आर सीज पर डे इन टू फाइव डेज टेन आर सीज पर वीक एंड वर्बल के लिए थ्री डेज दे दो इस तरह से सॉल्विंग शुरू कर दो ठीक है so that should be your target abhi first 3 months first 3 months ke baad fir solving pe zyada focus hoga uh, reading and vocab pe thoda kam kar sakte ho but reading continue karna hai 6 to 8 months usko chhodna mat don't leave it so that is the strategy i would give you but you can mix and match and make your own strategy also so yes jay you can read half i have already talked about that all right you can read half usi ko aap teen part mein bhi read kar sakte ho if you want so yes muthu uh, what i was saying in uh, this uh, sorry i used uh, in hindi a little bit what i was saying was that uh, you give uh, if you take uh, you know 20 20 uh, 20 minutes for reading one article then give four slots of 20 minutes for your reading daily you don't need to read all the four articles in one go four to five so 20 minutes four times a day you can take out 20 minutes four times a day that much time we are wasting on whatsapp and instagram and social media so 20 minutes ka five slots for reading uh, 10 10 minutes three slots for vocabulary today's words morning evening and 10 minutes for revision of older words so that has to be done so three slots of 10 minutes for vocabulary 4 to 5 slots of 20 minutes for reading and uh, when you start solving from the next month then uh, 10 comprehensions per week two per day five days of comprehension solving and three days of va solving that should be your work the solving should start from one month after reading and vocabulary okay once you are comfortable If you have already been doing the reading work and vocab work, then you can start off also. So that's how. All right, Muthu. I hope uh, it's okay now. So newspapers uh, is not necessary, Shob. Newspapers you will need uh, for uh, your uh, general knowledge. So Hindu is a good newspaper. You can use it for current affairs and thoda bhot you can read the editorials of the Hindu also. But as I told you, Hindu is a little below for IFT tak. 
Hindu is okay. If you're giving the CSAT and UPSC, Hindu is good. But for CAT and ZAT, uh, they will give you one level above the Hindu. So you have to read the sources, the foreign sources and uh, places that I have told you. You can just Google the CAT passage na, and see where it has come from. And you will yourself know from where to read. So read from those sources, from the sources that CAT is giving. That will help you more. And the general newspaper, use it for your general knowledge, for current affairs. Just see the headlines and you can move on. All right. So 20 minutes for newspaper reading, you can give daily for seeing the headlines and other things if you want. Okay. So, <clears throat> yes, uh, yes, Abhishek will be having more sessions like this. And for verbal ability, Kushi, I've already told you when you do your reading, start analyzing the sentences, how they are linked with each other. That will really help you in parajambles. And I'll give you more tips on specific topics like parajambal, etc. On the Arun Sharma Mindworks channel, on my verbal teacup, I'm doing a lot of reading also. So just follow those two channels. We'll be giving a lot of tips also. And those of you who are part of Mindworks or who want to join the Mindworks course with us, you're most welcome to be a part of it. Obviously, you'll be getting much more. So, but um, in the free sources also, we'll be talking about a lot of tips and tricks uh, for those who want to prepare themselves. So make sure you're doing these things, you're solving, and then the papers. The papers are very, very important. The CAD, ZAT, IFT papers, you have all the resources available. You have to solve them because that is ultimate. But don't start the papers now. Start when you have got at least 80% accuracy in your normal solving then do the papers then you will be doing justice to the papers otherwise it gets wasted so because and you'll get scared also that it's too difficult so start the papers once you've done two uh, at least two months of solving your accuracy is 70 80 percent then you can start looking at the papers or a little bit of papers you can start doing with your lod2 also if you want all right so that's all from my side for today and uh, so then Akshay become comfortable with those kinds of reading. If you find difficulty in particular topics of passages, read more of those kinds. And uh, so that uh, in the exam, you are comfortable with the diverse topics that come. That is the way out. That is the only way out and you have got time to do it. Last moment when, when you're uh, in the exam and you're finding it difficult, then you should pick and choose those uh, passages which are easy for you. Because last moment may, um, you know, you cannot improve it, but Abhi, you have time to improve. So do diverse reading. That is the only way to get out of that. That will help you become more comfortable. All right. So thank you very much. Uh, and uh, which question to skip, Derek? That will come with practice. When you see a question, your mind will react and tell you, no? yeah, I know, I know how to solve this. <laughs> Just like in quants. So in verbal and comprehension also, you will know. And huh, is answer I know because I have seen it in the passage. And uh, this I am finding it difficult, so you'll have to skip it. Or in a parajumble, if it's very lengthy and you're reading first line and not being able to understand anything, obviously, you know, you have to skip that question. So that comes with exposure. That will come automatically to you once you start doing your work and you're solving. Now, okay, this I know and this I don't know. And then the work for now is to know more and don't know less that is the gap between don't know and know has to be reduced that is the work that has to be done all right so you can Derek if you want you can go for those apps if it helps you please use them I'll not say no to any of those things all right so I'll end the session now thank you very much and uh, we will we'll be having more of these sessions and keep following our YouTube channels and our counselors might contact you in case you want to join. So please uh, leave your feedback and take care all of you. Good night. God bless. Bye bye.